Hello once again, all you model aficionados. This is my attempt at what I would like to call a master build of the forgotten prisoner of Castle Mare. It was originally an Aurora model reissued by Polar Lights and I think even picked up by the Mobius company. What you're seeing there at the moment is me taking out the solid pieces between the bars on the back wall. I decided I wanted to make it look a little more in depth. That was a very tedious thing to do, but I think it looked really cool when I finished with it. Also, the reason I broke this out, one, was because, well, Halloween, and two, I just wanted to rebuild this one because I had a really crazy idea for it. There is the back structure that would be painted black to give depth behind the bars. The idea that came to me was I wanted to not paint my prisoner. I wanted to actually put cloth on the body which I thought would make it look really cool there you see me painting that whole back structure by brush uh, no airbrushing no spray painting it was all brush done because I felt I could get a better quality paint job on it I should have sanded it just a little bit to highlight some of the ridges in the rock but uh, I used some different darkening colors and I think I did a little bit of sanding on it and then took my time to highlight the cracks in the mortar sections of it. Uh, there we go building the smaller pieces the bones putting together the skeletons legs arms head and hands and all that good stuff always take the time to try to scrape off as much of the I guess you would call it molding edging of the model to get a better quality look overall uh, let's see if I can figure out what I'm doing there oh this is uh, I'm starting the upper body with uh, the clothing and oh I've already uh, went through the part right there where you see the base I actually put uh, dirt on it applied dirt and had it uh, sealed down to it with a lacquer to a so it would stick and then I added a little extra and then sprayed a wash over it with Elmer's glue and water to make it stick a little better on the surface it's still coming off a bit Elmer's glue doesn't like sticking to dirt that much there I am in uncharted territory adding the cloth material to the upper body that was a really really tenacious thing to do uh, used rubber cement or uh, a rubber contact cement to stick the cloth to the styrene plastic. I was going to use the uh, testers but I thought uh, the contact cement would actually be a little more pliable and easier to remove if I made a really big boo-boo. Testers cement tends to be a rather extremely permanent solution. I'm detailing the body out a little bit before I added more cloth, but I've added more cloth there. Now I'm having to detail the uh, the cloth pieces there. I'm adding the waist sash. I did that in two parts. And the great thing about using the contact cement was 
it oozed through the cloth just a bit, which, you know, that worked out as far as giving it an overall aged look of, I guess you would call it body juices from the decaying process, which I highlighted with some uh, green paint to give it a little slime look on the outside, a little mold. That was actually the hardest part, putting the pants on this prisoner because, well, I had no pattern to work with and I was just basically all fly by the seat of the pants myself getting it together. After taking a little time, I did make it turn out there. I just stuck the head on. I wanted to stick the head on in the uh, tilted up version of the screen just like the box cover. That actually worked out. I had to make a spine, a neck piece to go inside because of the way the head was up and you could see in there. So now I'm doing some more detailing on the smaller parts, uh, probably the rats and the snake. I looked up poisonous snakes in Spain and I painted one as close to what I could get to a type of poisonous snake. I just put on the base, attached it. Now I'm putting the prisoner on. Now something happened here. When I built my prisoner, he did not quite line up the way originally I think it was supposed to. So I had to make some on-the-fly modification. There are some pictures. This is the end. So thank you for viewing this and have fun building yours.